Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the cross product and the cross product matrix which will give rise to orthogonal projection matrices. Let's recall that if I have a vector v cross x, vector x, this will be what? This is going to be the determinant of i, j, k, and then v1, v2, v3, x, y, Z. So here I'm using the notation that x is really x, y, z, and v is v1, v2, and v3, right? And so this will give me a new vector, right? I'm going to write this as a column vector. The column vector it's going to give me is going to be the i component is going to be a v2, z minus v3, y. Then what will the j component give me? It'll give me a v3, x, v3, x minus v1, z. And finally, the k will give me a v1, y and then minus a v2x, right? And of course, this is a linear operator, right? So I can write this as a matrix equation. So the matrix formulation of this is going to be what? So I'm going to have a 0 for, no, we're thinking this is x, y, z. So I have a 0, a negative v3, a v2. Then over here, what do we have? We have a v3. Then we have a 0. Then we have a negative v1. Down over here, we have a negative v2. Then we have a v1. Then we have a 0 for z, right? x, y, and z. And so this is my matrix that corresponds to the cross product, right? So this is the cross product matrix, cross product matrix. Okay. And now what's the important thing to remember? The important thing to remember is that we know that v, of course, is a linear operator, but let's recall one important property of cross products, and that's the so-called back cab identity. So let's recall the back cab identity. So recall I will link to this video where we prove this. A cross B cross C is back cab. So it's back, so it's B, A dot C, minus cab, C, A dot B, right? And so I'm going to use this back cab identity to, prove, to figure out property of the square of this matrix, right? So now, if we were to look at the square of this matrix, so let's call this operator over here, let's call this cross product matrix a sub v, this is going to be a sub vector v, right? So now note that v cross v cross x is going to give me what? Let's use the back cap identity to figure out what it is. So the back cap identity says that's my a, that's my b, and that's my c. So let's lose back cap carefully and see what we're going to get over here. We're going to get b, so that's going to be a v. And then we're going to have a what? We're going to have a c x dot v, that's going to be an x dot v. Great. And then minus C, which is X, and then V dot V, right? And V dot V is just the length of V squared, right? The length of V quantity squared. Excellent, okay? This is going to be very helpful for us in, in un uncovering what the orthogonal projection matrix is, okay? So in particular, now let's observe that A squared, so if I do A, V, quantity squared applied to X, that is A, V applied to A, V of X, but this is what? This is A, V, and then V cross X. But A, V of a vector is that vector cross the thing that you input. So this is going to be V cross V cross X. Which is exactly by the back cap identity given by this formula over here, which is given by the formula V, then X dot V minus X and then a uh, length of v squared. Okay, great. So that's a formula, and of course I can simply just do the square of this matrix that I wanted to, right? So we'll do that in just a moment here. But now let me talk about a principal application of this. So note, so let's let n be a, b, c, be a unit vector, and let it be normal it's normal to the plane AX plus BY plus CZ is equal to zero, or equal to any D if you like, if you like, okay? So it's normal to that plane. And so now, of course, I can say that if you want to project onto this vector, projecting, if I do the projection of a vector X onto N, what's that going to be? That's just going to be X dot n, n hat, that's our formula for, orthog for orthogonal projection, right? 
right? And if I do one, if I do identity minus projection, that gives me the projection onto the plane. So in other words, identity, this implies that identity minus the operator, identity applied to x minus x dot n hat, n hat is the projection onto the plane. Okay, because if you're the orthogonal projection onto the normal vector, and then the identity minus that is exactly perpendicular to that, so it's going to be projection onto the plane, right? But what we have a formula for this now, right? So in other words, what this says over here is, with if I apply this operator over here, if I look at if I consider a n, if I look at a n squared, a n squared, what is a n squared as an operator? A n squared as an operator is going to be what? If we pull, let's just plug an x to this to make it a little bit more concrete, a n of squared of x is going to be what? Is going to be, well now n is being plus, so this is going to be n, n hat, and then x dot n hat, x dot n hat, x is just a regular vector, and then what? And then since n is a unit vector, this is just minus x. So in other words, what do we have over here? This is exactly the same formula as this over here, right? Except with a negative sign. So in other words, negative a n hat squared is the what? Is the projection onto the plane with normal vector with normal vector a b c right? So it's the negative of this thing. So let's do the negative of that calculation. So now let's do that and see what we're going to get. So now our calculation turns into what? We're going to have what? So our projection, our negative a n hat squared is going to be negative of what? Of 0, then a negative c, then a b, then a what? Then a c, then a 0, then a negative a, then a negative b, then an a, then a 0, and then do it one more time. We're going to have a what? We're going to have a 0, a negative c, and a b. Then we're going to have a, a c, a 0, and a negative a, a negative b, an a, and a zero, like so. And so if we expand this out, what are we gonna get what are we gonna get? Let's see what we get over here. So we're gonna get a negative c squared minus b squared, the negative sign, so it's gonna be c squared plus b squared. Great. And then what? And then we're gonna do row dot column, so we're gonna get a what? We're gonna get a b a with a negative sign, so that's a negative two b negative b a. And then we're gonna get a what? Then we're gonna get a zero, then it's negative, then a positive c a with a negative, so negative c a. Let's do the next column. We're going to get a 0, then a 0, then a b. So I'm going to get an a b with a negative sign. So that's going to be negative a b. Great. And then the middle term is going to be negative c squared, negative a squared. That's going to be c squared plus a squared. c squared plus a squared. And then what will we have for the last guy? We're going to have a uh, b c with a negative sign. b c. Great. And last column, we're going to get a what? Last column over here, we're going to get a c a with a negative sign. So that's a negative a c. Then we're going to get a BC with a negative sign, with a positive sign, so that's negative, so negative BC. And the last entry over here is going to be negative B squared minus A squared. Negative B squared minus A squared is just going to turn into an A squared, A squared plus B squared. So this matrix right over here is the orthogonal projection matrix onto the plane that has normal vector A, B, and C. So this is our projection matrix. This matrix is projection, projection onto a plane with normal A, B, C unit vector. Thank you very much.